Alright, hello people out there. Marco here again with another video. Hope you're doing great today. Thanks for tuning in. And today I want to talk to you about another uh, really cool topic and interesting topic regarding guitars. And that's refinish or not. Um, as you may already know, this is my Fender Mexican Telly from 2009. It's just a, a Mexican standard telly, uh, or at least it was a Mexican standard telly. Uh, Candy Apple Red, the poly finish, uh, a white three ply scratch blade, and yeah. So, as you can see, it's not Candy Apple Red anymore. This thing is Olympic white, it's got another scratch blade. It's got different tuners, it's got different pickups, it's got a different bridge. So basically I I modified the hell out of it and it's, although it is uh, my cheapest guitar, I, I love playing it, I really do. And a really cool thing about it and why I love it is because the refin I did, I did by myself. Um, to be honest, there were three colors before this, so it was candy, candy Apple Red. Then I changed it to some kind of uh, desert sand, creamy color. Then I went for a matte black finish, and now it's the way it is. So the, the two finishes before this one, uh, I got it finished, uh, refinished by a, a buddy of mine. Um, but this time, the last time, I did it all by myself. I stripped the, 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 the lacquer down and refinished it by myself. So there's no, there's actually, there's no buffing involved in this. It's just stripped down to the wood, two or three coats of like um, filler, and then three or four coats of uh, Olympic white and then two coats of clear coat. That's basically it. No buffing, no polishing of the of the finish. I don't know. There are some flaws because the, the, the refin by myself wasn't perfect. So on this particular part, uh, the finish, like uh, there were some bubbles occurring and this was pretty ugly, but I don't know. It, it got too warm and then it started bubbling and I didn't want to put another coat of color over it because I didn't have any color left. So I just left it as it was and I'm fine with that. Already has some, some crackling on this particular part. I uh, sort of Helped out with some icing spray and a heat gun. Um, yeah, so this is this is a really yeah. I, my I don't give a shit guitar. You can also see some. Uh, you can see the the shaping isn't perfect, and I I, I remove too much wood here with the with the grinder. But whatever, it's, it's small flaws and small issues, but I still love it. And I would never sell this one. And what I like about uh, nitro guitars so, uh, is you can see the wear. And, and, and although many people say um, it doesn't make a difference if you have poly or, or a nitro finish, but in my opinion, a really thin nitro finish resonates better. That's that's how I feel. It's like it's like the the nitro finish. If it's thin, it's like it's part of the of the wood. And a thick poly finish is is like a plastic coat and um, decreases the 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 resonance of the guitar. I'm definitely sure about that. So that's why I like. Uh, nitro finish 
and that's why I decided to refinish it because the, the two finishes before were poly finishes. Yeah, so this is my refinished guitar. Never regretted it, really never regretted it. And now I want to ask you uh, another question. Just give me a sec. So I'm back again. Um, if you if you are familiar with my channel and my guitars um, so far, this is my 2006 SG Standard, and I don't know. I guess it's my favorite guitar from all of my four guitars. This is my favorite. It feels somehow the best to me. The neck is is perfect. It's pretty chunky, but not too fat, um, the shaping fits like perfectly into my hand, um, it stays in tune pretty well, it, well, the, the, the bridge humbucker has pretty high output, so it's, maybe I'm gonna swap this one out, but so far I'm fine with the sound, it's a straight up rock and roll machine, it's lightweight, and this particular one isn't really neck heavy, so, uh, there are many SGs that have the, the problems with the uh, with the neck dive, but this one hasn't, so I really love this. Uh, the only thing I would change is the finish. So, well, black is like the only thing that has stopped me from refinishing until now is that it is black. I think. Um, you can't go wrong with a black guitar, it's like timeless classic. So, yeah, but I don't know, every once in a while, every once in a while, I, I think about doing a refinish or um, getting a refinish done by a professional, of course, with the Gibson guitar, you don't want to mess it up. And I would love to have like um, an Alpine or a, like creamy white color with the black pickguard. I think there's nothing cooler than a white SG. But I don't know, a good refinished job. It's pretty expensive. So basically, if 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 I asked some 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 um, some guys who do professional refins, and I don't know, somewhere like eight hundred bucks up to. 1400 bucks and that's immense I, I mean i could get a used sg for that um, for that money which is wide then and um yeah so i'm not sure if i if i should do it um, or should i leave it as it is and get a white one additionally i don't know um the fact is uh, the the refin for 1400 bucks is like really a professional refin and it's a nitro refin perfectly done uh, with some light aging so look at your weather weather checking marks so it will look and the, the, the finish will look and feel like a real old sg from the 60s yeah. so it's it really looks great but um it's like 1400 bucks, I don't know. Yeah, I just want to know your opinion. If you ever done a refin by yourself or have you have some guys who did it for you? Yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, is it worth it? Should I leave it as it is? Yeah, just want to know your opinion. That's for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and stay safe and see you on the next one.